Uh, my question is for Tim Wilson. Tim, you were accused of running a scare campaign regarding Labor's retiree tax. First, what do you think of that allegation? And second, how important do you consider the public opposition to the tax proved to be for the government's re-election? Tim Wilson. Firstly, I know Michael before anybody wants to go on Twitter and find out that we're actually Facebook friends. Uh, and uh, well, I mean, the, the reality is, uh, I don't know how anyone can call it a scare campaign. It was a parliamentary inquiry which gave ordinary Australians a voice to have their opinion about the issue. Uh, if there were a change of government on the 1st of July of this year, many Australian retirees would lose up to a third of their income overnight without any consultation, without any input in legislation or without any consequence or mind of the impact it would have on them. But a parliamentary it... inquiry on an opposition policy is quite unusual, right? Well, actually, no. Um, in the last position, last uh, piece of legislation that was referred to the Economics Committee in the last parliament was from a crossbencher. So we look at legislation proposals all the time. What this inquiry did was gave ordinary Australians a voice. Now, let's not be under any illusion about what happened. Firstly, uh, you know, Labor Party tried to make all sorts of allegations against me and try and bully me out of the job. I don't mind, doesn't bother the slightest. Uh, but they also then said to all of those Australian retirees who st stood up, well, don't vote for us, and arrogantly dismissed their concerns. They've now come back and admitted, well, maybe it actually does have an impact on a lot of people on low incomes. Maybe we should have listened. And they've paid an incredibly high price. It's not literally a retiree's tax, though, is yes, it? it is. It is. It is. Well, hang on. All right, well, let's, hang on. let's get the... Well, I'll just get no, no, Labor's... Let me just, let me just answer this, because Try this is one again. of the greatest bits of misinformation. You get a tax credit if you've paid tax. If you remove the credit, you only have tax. OK, well, let's hear Labor's position on that, because you deny it's a tax. Why? Well, I'm glad Tim didn't try to explain it. The, uh, what, it's a nonsensical position that's been adopted by Tim at a whole lot of levels. It was never a retiree tax. Yes, it but was. The confi <laughs> Tim, keen to have the last word. Uh, Tim was reprimanded by the Speaker of the House of Representatives for his misuse of, parlia right. of the parliamentary committee That's process. Right. And on any view, it was a misuse of the parliamentary Mark, committee Mark, would, would, you, would you agree... Well, uh, leave aside the parliamentary committee issue for a moment. Would you agree at least that it was a financial impost on many retirees? Uh, it was, a, of course, it was a removal of a benefit or a subsidy that is paid by the Australian Tax Office using other taxpayers' money. But, but obviously, to an, an, about, an, sorry, let me finish. Let me, to but, about three percent, okay. Tony, right. of Australian taxpayers. Well, three three percent were on it, and how many percent were waiting to use that system, and how many relatives I of people who had the system? Uh, I mean, sure. are you, you're, no, no. Not, you're not I seriously mean, considering that. continuing with the policy, are you? I'm not going to commit to what our final position is going to... what our future position is going to be, because we are a collective party and we are going to be talking to each other about where we will go in relation to that and other policies. But the Liberal but you Party... Wouldn't want to, we'd, we'd want to lay a bet on keeping that policy, would you? <laughs> the form... I'm not going to commit to what form it might take. Uh, we made it clear, for example, that it will not apply to part pensioners or pensioners, but that didn't stop literally hundreds of people coming up to me in the street and talk to me who were pensioners or part pensioners who, because of the false scare campaign run by Tim Wilson and his colleagues, thought that they were going to be affected. Uh, this was a campaign where the Liberal Party campaigned on imagined Labor Party policies that we did not have uh, and still have no shame about it. It wasn't a retiree tax. Yes. Tim knows that. He's still going on okay. with the same false statement, having conspired with his relative, the other Wilson, Ugh. the real estate agent, uh, to use the, pro the, the names of lying. people participating in a parliamentary <laughs> inquiry for Liberal Party okay. purposes, breaching their privacy, and That's he's still lie. apparently... That's a lie. He still apparently has no shame about okay, it. OK, sorry, you've got, I've got to give you a right of reply. Brief one, go ahead. Well, uh, firstly, I'm absolutely very proud of the inquiry we ran because we gave Australians a voice. And the it's reality is uh, all you have done at every point uh, is misinform or mislead the Australian people, Mark. But, it, I mean, the reality is it isn't going to be legislated anymore. It's done. You didn't listen and you paid a price. That's why you got the word OK, shadow. all right, we'll leave that there with the politicians.